children in this video i am going to tell you how to find the missing terms of an ap if any term is missing in an ap how to find that okay this is question number 3 first part of exercise 5.2 of arithmetic progression okay now children see here this is given to you this is your question and as you can see this is the you have been told this is an ap arithmetic progression you are given the first term second term is missing and third term you are given here children i want to tell you one thing whenever you are solving any problem which is based on arithmetic progression any question which is based on arithmetic progression two things you must find first of all and what are those two things one is a and the other one is d if you can find from the ap that's fine if you cannot find then first of all you need to find a and d and once you know what is a and what is d you will be able to find the answer to any question okay as you can see here you know what is a first term is called a a is given but no two consecutive terms are known these here this term is missing so we are not able to find d from here okay when we know two consecutive term the d can be easily found so what is given to us we'll focus on that first of all you are given a what is a a is 2 what else is given to you in the question that is third term third term means a3 a3 here is 26 so you are given a that is 2 and a3 also that is 26 now what is the meaning of a3 i have written this implies a3 means a plus 2d when you know what is a3 that means you know what is a plus 2d a plus 2d is 26 now you know what is a you will put the value of a here and then by solving it you will get find the value of d also so now you have a and now you have found d also now you can find any term of the ap you have to find the second term and i have written here a2 is a plus d a i know that is 2 and d i have found that is 12 so a plus d that mean 2 plus 12 is equal to 14 so your answer is 14 so the missing term here is 14 okay now let us see what is the second part of the question see the second part of the question the first term is missing that means a is also missing and third term is missing first is missing and third is also missing okay so neither we have a and we cannot find d also here why because no two consecutive terms are known we cannot because to find d you know we have to do either a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 or a4 minus a3 but no two consecutive terms are known so we cannot find d also so again we will focus on what is given to us so first of all as you can see second term is given to you that means you are given a2 a2 is 13 and what is the meaning of a2 a plus d is equal to 13 what else is given to you you are given the fourth term also 1 2 3 and 4 fourth term is also given what is a4 fourth term means a4 a4 is 3 what is the meaning of a4 a plus 3d a plus 3d is equal to 3 in this way you will get two equations and what are the variables in these two equations a and d so you have done this chapter a pair of linear equation in two variable here the two variables are a and d now you can solve these two equation by any method so i have used elimination method i have subtracted these two equation subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 so i have written a plus 3d is equal to 3 minus a plus d is equal to 13 i have subtracted this equation here so you know when we are subtracting the equation we change the sign minus minus and minus so this will get cancel a minus a is 0 3d minus d will give you 2d and 3 minus 13 will give you minus 10 and by solving this you will get the value of d as 
5 minus 5 okay now children one thing more i want to tell you children sometimes you make mistake in finding d whenever you are finding d you make mistake what you do you subtract you do like this a1 minus a2 which is absolutely wrong we have to do a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 we have to subtract the previous term from the next term but sometime you make a mistake now here you have you have to remember one thing whenever you see the terms of ap increasing they are increasing like here 2 14 26 26 they are increasing so then your d will be a positive number you have to remember this if my terms are numbers are increasing so that means my d has to be positive number but if you see the terms are decreasing like here i i don't know but here it is 13 and here it is 3 okay so terms are decreasing this will give you an idea that d is going to be negative so as you can see here we have found the d as minus 5 now children once you find d you can find a also from equation 1 or 2 i have taken equation 1 a plus d is equal to 13 this implies a plus minus 5 is equal to 13 and from here the value of a i have got is as 18 so now i have got a also i have got d also so i can find any missing term of the ap i have to find first of all first term so first term a1 means a and that is 18 then you have to find third term and a3 is a plus 2d by putting the values of a and d here we can find the value of a3 as 8 so the missing terms are this is 18 and this is 8